it wasn't a complete withdrawal. He wanted to keep 650 troops there. Taliban said, F you. They took over, so they forced his hand. Was there a better way he could have gotten those damn troops out? I mean, we got how many bases around Afghanistan? He could have just said, everyone's going home on military jets. Like, could, why? I mean, I get it because the Taliban took over the whole basically Kandahar and everywhere else. But it, was there a more organized way he could have gone the damn troop, the 80 troops out or however many there were? Yes, yes. But you know what that organized way would have required? It would have required the Pentagon to actually take seriously that we are withdrawing. See, the thing is, it was the Pentagon's responsibility, the Department of Defense responsibility to really set up uh, the mechanisms, put the parts in motion make to make it happen that there will be a smooth withdrawal if they were planning on withdrawing by august 31st uh they should have started getting people out earlier maybe july maybe june not on august 18th all of a sudden when uh kabul falls all they all start rushing in and want to get everyone out august 18th is not the correct date but i just use that as an example things yeah, are already yeah, yeah, going yeah, yeah. on by august 18th oh yeah but, the weekend uh, yeah, the weekend, the, the weekend of that week, the weekend prior mm -hmm. to that week. Yeah. But the point of the matter is they were caught flat footed. And I think the media, the the pro war media wants to put all the blame of this solely and squarely on President Biden. Uh, and you'll never catch me going out here and, and batting for President Biden. But what I will say is. The Department of Defense, whether it's General Lloyd Austin, I mean, Secretary Lloyd Austin, or whether it's others in the Department of Defense, either didn't take him seriously or were kind of hoping that the withdrawal would actually not happen. So they procrastinated it to the very, very, very last minute in case there was a change of mind or a change of heart. And so that's why they, were, they are in a situation where they're rushing. That's why they are caught flat-footed. Uh, because of this, I will say the optics of it were never going to be pretty because it was pretty clear. I know this sounds harsh and crass to say, but the reality of the situation is we lost. And anytime you lose a war, you're not going to walk out looking pretty or well put together. You're going to walk out fleeing. And to make matters worse, the intelligence was poor. The intelligence was bad that that uh, they thought Kabul would take another three months to fall, another 18 months to fall, another six months to fall. So that intelligence was bad. Uh, Biden did, did in, in fact, mislead the American people by saying there won't be, it's very unlikely that there will be a time the Taliban will take the whole country. Uh, I don't think he should have said that when it was pretty clear they were going to take the whole country. Yeah, 75,000 people took over a freaking country. And people say, oh, well, it's the, he said, oh, it's the 300,000 soldiers fault. Yeah, they're not going to want to fight a civil war they never wanted to be a part of in the first place. So they, they're, they're not, not going to want to fight. They're, they're not going to want to fight. Those 300,000 people are not going to want to fight for a political class that's corrupt and that doesn't represent them and represent their interests. And that's where the problem lies. Not with the their own people, foot it's not with the foot soldiers in Afghanistan. The problem lied with the leadership, the Afghan political elite who were basically gobbling up a whole bunch of American money and spending it on whatever whims they wanted. You know, President Ashraf Ghani who fled or former President Ashraf Ghani who fled to the United Arab Emirates, you know, his daughter lives in Brooklyn, in New York. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, she lives in New York. She's living a hipster lifestyle. She's enjoying herself. She's very comfortable. Um, so and so why didn't he come out to the States? A typical had, city girl. He can't come out. If he comes out here to the United States, uh, the the American people would never approve because they they thought that they were putting their taxpayer money into a legitimate government that was going to run the country effectively and very effectively counter uh, the Taliban insurgency. So, 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 so she's just living as a city girl, like random girl in New York. From my understanding, yes. From sources I've, I've, I've seen on her, yes. Um, 
I don't know her personally. I don't know who she is or what she does for a living. But uh, do, do some further research into that and, and see if, if you huh. can find stuff. Look yeah. up Ashraf so, Ghani's daughter, Brooklyn, New York. See if you get anything. Yeah, and exactly. And, and, but OK, so I get you there. I was like, why well, the, doesn't he come out here? He bought her a house here, I'm sure. A penthouse. Nice. Ass I'm penthouse pretty sure he's Devin. got some properties here. I wouldn't put you it know past he's got have properties. Some properties. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. But that's exactly right. I'm glad you mentioned that we propped up a government. That's a fake government. And it was ripe with corruption. And guess who said that? The Afghanistan papers. General Lou, General Crowley, uh, Ryan Crockers. They all said that. And they said, you know who they are, right? The, the people yes. in the Afghanistan papers. They said we're a self Craig Whitlock We have was, not the foggiest uh, idea. Putting out a book. Right. But they said, we don't have the foggiest idea what the hell we're doing here. We manipulate the data. The data was pointing, painting the most accurate picture. We misled the American people. They, they knew all of this and and we just kept going and we propped up a government that was all fake and the Taliban's going to take over. Now, speaking of the Taliban, uh, 